Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 4x minus 3. And we're going to do this two ways. First, we'll use this table of values here to figure out the graph for y equals 4x minus 3. Then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's put some values in for x. We'll get values for y. Then we'll plot those, and that'll give us our graph here. If we put 0 in for x, 4 times 0 is 0 minus 3. That gives us minus 3. Why don't we put in 1? We could put any numbers in for x. That would give us a value for y. Then if we graph that point, it would be on the line. But we want it to fit on our graph paper. So 1's a good choice. 4 times 1 is 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. And why don't we do negative 1? 4 times negative 1, that would give us a negative 4. Negative 4 and negative 3 is negative 7. So these are the points we'll graph for the linear equation y equals 4x minus 3. Our first point is 0 for x, negative 3 for y. So 0 and then 1, 2, 3, negative 3. Then we have 1, 1 right here. And we could stop here, put a line through it, and we'd have our graph. But it's good to do another point just to make sure you've got these correct. So we have negative 1, negative 7. Negative 1 down to negative 7. And you can see they're all in a line. Let's put a line through that. You put an arrow to show that it goes to infinity. And that's our graph for y equals 4x minus 3. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b. And b, that's the y-intercept. That's negative 3. That's where we're going to cross the y-axis, right here at negative 3. So that's on our line. For the slope, m, that's 4. But it's helpful to think of this as 4 over 1, because then we can say rise over run. 4 over 1 is still 4. It just makes this easier. So let's go to the y-intercept here. We're going to rise 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and go over 1. Let's do it again. Rise 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. So we've done this first part here correctly. This is the graph for y equals 4x minus 3. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.